Hello, it's Wednesday, and here's another story time, and I'm not going to make a habit of this because, no, I don't like the sound of my own voice, but I did promise I would tell the harmonica story, so I will tell that real quick. Uh, 2006, and this story continues to this day, but uh, 2006, uh, I was in Mosul, and a big group of us, um, the active duty, the civilians, and the contracted security, we would work out at the same time. And by work out, I would be on the elliptical. And uh, then we would walk next door to the dining facility and eat. And then like a family, we would sit there and talk forever. And sometimes this group of uh, Air Force doctors would be sitting at the end of the table. And so... We knew them, we said hi, but it was like they were just always there, you know, and uh, they were friendly. Well, one time, uh, this guy walked up, and I'm not going to say his name because he is one of my subscribers. Oh my God, it sounds so weird to say that, because, anyway, because I started doing these videos just to talk to my, my cousin and, and uh, his wife, my, my friend, but um, anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> I have 19 subscribers. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, um, one night we're sitting there eating and uh, this guy walks up to the end of the table and is talking to the doctors. And you know how you'll hold a conversation but you look up and you're engaging everyone with you? So that's what he was doing. He was talking to them. But he kept looking up and smiling and nodding at me. And, uh, and, and that's what, and suddenly, one of the guys said to this guy, is that a harmonica in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? And it just shocked me that he said that. It was so random, so weird, so out of the blue. I kind of, I kind of blurted, <laughs> it just, just caught me off guard. And uh, the best thing ever, this guy reached into his pocket, pulled out a harmonica, and tossed it onto the table. So it was like the bum bum, <laughs> the little uh, tittle day of the the joke. It was great. It was hysterical. So um, he was uh, he he would come and talk to us, and we'd say hi. He became a friend, and we included in him some thing some things that like we'd invite him when we go do karaoke or whatever and so he was like one of us just real nice guy matter of fact one time um we had uh uh one of our engineers pulled out a guitar and uh we invited this guy over and he brought his harmonica so we had a music uh Mosul music man jam and I got great pictures of it. It was such a good night. And uh, somebody was singing. That was right in the office. It was so good. Well, um, over the next years, that I was there a total of four years. And uh, and off and on, he would come and go, and, and we'd cross paths. It was just real nice to see a familiar face, even though you, you weren't like the best of friends. You didn't know each other real, real, real good. When you're 6,000 miles away and you cross paths with a face that you've seen before and you talk to, it's good. It's really good. So, um, fast forward to 2011 or 12, maybe 2000, yeah, 2011. I'm in Afghanistan. I'm in Kandahar, Afghanistan. And I would, uh, my alone time, two or three times a week I, after work, I would go down to the boardwalk in Kandahar and I would walk the track. They had a really nice rubber track. And um, I would walk it. One day, I catch in the, in the distance. I see these guys um, lounging on the boardwalk, sitting on the rails and on the fence. And one of the guys breaks away from the group and he's staring right at me and smiling. And and I can see the whole group is watching him approach me and I recognize him. He's, he's my Mosul music man. And you know, here we are in a, on a different country and, and there he is. And so as I approach him, 
you know, he's and he's standing there on the on the track as I approach him walking. And he's got his hands in his pockets. He's got a big grin on his face. And all these guys are watching him. Like, and so I approach him and I said to him, "Is that a harmonica in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me?" And when I said that, those guys on the steps and on the rails, they all bust out laughing. But when he pulled the harmonica out of his pocket and started playing, it brought down the house. And I was stunned that he had that harmonica in his pocket. Absolutely stunned. So, uh, we talk every five or six months. Uh, one of us will get an email from the other. He's had his first child recently and he is in Washington, D.C. doing super secret stuff and uh, that I don't know what he does. But um, anyway, that's the harmonica story. 